Hello friends, welcome to TechEJ YouTube channel. Friends, in today's video, we are going to see how we can easily migrate our WordPress website from cPanel hosting to our Microsoft Azure cloud hosting. So, let's begin with this. This is the basically my website known as anglephysio.in uh, which is uh, my client website. So, this website is uh, currently hosted uh, with cPanel, GoDaddy cPanel. So right now, I I want to migrate my website from my cPanel to Azure Cloud because we all know what are the benefits of cloud. <laughs> so let's begin with. So first of all, if this is these steps are only applied for WordPress website. So first of all, let's try to log in as an admin in your website. So here, let's log in into your web website as an admin. So here I am already logged in. So here, click on your dashboard. And now you have to install the plugin all in one WP migration, which is uh, already installed for me uh, because uh, I try one time. Uh, I have already tried this. So here we have to go if you are going to install, then you have to go into your plugin section and click on add new, and simply you can search it here. And here search for all in one WP migration. And then after you have to just install and activate it. So here you can simply click on install now here. And then you have to activate it. You can activate it by going install plugins. And here you can simply like here. Uh, you can activate it. All in one WP migration. Click on activate. Now activated. If you successfully upload. Uh, activated your all-in-one WP migration plugin then it show a option in your right corner for export import and any backup if you have made so here you have to click on export now after clicking on export you have to export click on export to now click on file now it's preparing to export so preparing is completed so here now click on download angle physio.in after clicking on you can simply download it here from here okay i am closing it because i already downloaded because it can take some time so let's close it from here now after downloading this we have to go login into our azure portal okay this similar process you can also follow with uh, AWS. So click on sign in. And here I am. So let's search for marketplace. Now this is my marketplace. This is Azure's marketplace. For this we are going to use WordPress by Bitnami. So here is this is search for WordPress by Bitnami and WordPress package by Bitnami select it and click on create. Now we have to select your subscription. Here my subscription, I have only one subscription, so Azure file student is selected and then um, you can also select your resource group or you can simply click on create new, okay. So here I am selecting my resource group one and click, uh, you can give your virtual machine name. So here I am giving angle PGO, okay, now just click on region. I think here b is this size is not available in this region so we have to change this region okay 
so here I am selecting South India yes here this size is available okay now I uh, our user name is Azure user we can simply modify it but default is good enough I am you can generate a new key pair here I am choosing you existing key stored in Azure now I have to select a key this is my angle physio key okay which I already created here now click on review let's create now here validation is failed required information is missing or not valid okay let's try to diagnose the problem I think there is no problem so we we click on review plus create one more time let's see what here running final validation okay wait for some few more moments so here validation is passed okay now you have to enter this name for terms and condition your email and your mobile number so I already added it here now just click on create okay this process can take some time so keep patient and wait for five two to five minutes depending on your region and latency in your area now it's saying your deployment is completed so click on go to resource section and now here copy the public IP address so here let's see our web server is running or not so here our web server is running now we have to login into this so click wp enter here wp admin so it's require a username and password so how we can get this username and password so for this we have to go here and uh, we have to check our serial locks so for checking serial locks we have to go into boot diagnostic ok where is let's search for this boot diagnostics so this is here now go to serial locks and then and this in this serial locks press ctrl f and search for password so here now this is our password so here uh, default username is uh, user and password is this so we can easily copy it press ctrl c and enter it here click on login now you are logged in into your new web server wordpress which is hosted on azure virtual machine so here we have to install plugin first of all search for installed plugin so here i think all in one wp migration already comes with already installed so here click just click on activate so here this is activated now we have to import click on import and uh, now this is maximum upload file size is 80 MB but in my but uh, my uh, backup size is one uh, 212 MB so what can I do to increase this maximum upload file size 80 MB so we can just uh, either you can buy a premium but I have a simple way to bypass this ATMB limit just uh, I have to install a new plugin click on add new now click on upload plugin choose a file and uh, now
here this is the uh, extension basically all in one wp migration unlimited extension uh, you can simply download it from google or i can give a link in description box so check the description box click on install now now click on activate plugin So here click on import. Now here maximum upload file size is unlimited. So now you can import from anywhere, any size. Click on file and search for your. So here I am searching my downloaded file angle physio dot w press. So here you are. So this is two hundred twenty one MB. Okay. So let's select it. Now this is uploading. Sometimes it can give error, but most of the time, if you use this extension, then all error is resolved. Okay. So let's wait for some few moments. Now my upload is completed, and now it's uh, saying for me, for click and proceed. And this say the import process will overwrite your website, including the database, media, plugins, and things. Please ensure that you have a backup of your data before proceeding to the next step. So click and proceed, and it is preparing my blog. now and uh, restoring my backup so here it's restoring basically 30000 files so here uh, it says please do not close the browser window otherwise your import is failed so click on finish now we have successfully migrated our wordpress website from C panel to Azure Cloud. So here, now click on Update WordPress Database. Click on Continue. Now here we have to enter our old username and password. Here, always remember here we have to enter our old username and password, and click on Login. That's it. we are in our new dashboard so here just visit site here this is my website and it is successfully migrated from c panel to azure cloud now we have to update our domain so here you can simply search for dns so here i search for dns and click on dns zones and here we have to create new dns zone for it so click on create now choose your subscription and choose your resource group and in my case my resource group my rg1 and give the name as angle physio your domain name in my case it is angle physio so please make sure your spelling is correct so here in chile most of the time i done with a spelling mistake so let's click on create now it's in my dns zone is created okay here deployment is in progress now we can go to our resource so here we have to add two record sets first one is a record and uh, second one is c name record so just uh, find your public ip address of your server
now go to virtual machine and then here we have to copy the public IP this is public IP so I copied it and now let's cut it and uh, in this card set we have to paste this IP address so here click on ok and now click on one more time record set and this is for www click here www and uh, here select c name and ttl is good one hour is in my case you can also select minimum time to leave so that your records are always updated okay so here enter your domain name here I am entering my alias angle physio dot in click on ok so here all done with DNS section so you have to now login into our uh, domain provider so in my case it is coded you can simply login into your domain provider so just go to your GoDaddy account and login there so here now go to your my product section and click on angle physio.in or domain which you want to just update so click on manage DNS now we have to change our name servers click on change ok it's login it out we have to login one more time now i have to change these name servers so here you can simply see these name servers are my aws uh, name server so now i have to change i have to go here and now we can simply copy and paste our name servers record so copy from here control c and now we have to enter our name and new name server record control v make sure dot is not present at last okay now go here and copy the second name server record paste here and copy the third name server record Similarly, we can copy the last name server record. Now, we all done. Click on save. Okay. Yes, I consent to update name server for the selected domain. Click on continue. And it can take 12 to 24 hours are successfully updating your name servers records okay